Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today I didn't really have a plan. I kind of just winged it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Hello. So I don't really have a plan. I think I know what I want to wear and I have a rough idea of how I want my makeup to kind of go with it. Let me show you. I'm honestly not even too sure about this outfit. But I was going to wear this and then put this over top and then put on this corset. So I'm thinking some sort of maroon, blue, pink kind of look. I don't mean to interrupt, but to give you some context as to why it needs to match my outfit, I'm starting this 30 day outfit challenge like styling my thrifted clothing since the majority of my clothing is thrifted now but anyway i really just wanted to do like the 30 day outfit challenge and so i'm very focused on trying to actually match my makeup to my outfits this next month so if you'd like to follow along on that journey don't forget to check me out on instagram to follow along and don't forget new video sunday i have no idea how this is gonna turn out i have some things swatched on my hand and I'm thinking maybe like a graphic liner moment. I'm not sure. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'm going into the Ace Beauty Nostalgia palette and I'm taking Raspberry and the shade Camping and I'm just mixing them together on my flat blending brush and I'm adding this to the outer V of my eye and then I'm going to slowly bring that across the lid. Then I'm taking the shade Flower from the same palette on a fluffier blending brush and I'm applying this to the inner third of the eye and then I'm going to be blending out the entire eye with this shade. Next I'm going into the Ace Beauty Flare palette and I'm taking the shade Bayberry and I'm adding this to the inner corner of my eye to add a sort of blue tinge to this look. Now we're going on to the face. I'm using this e.l.f. putty blush. Again, I have no idea what shade name this is. They don't have names on the bottom of these. Maybe it's just the PR. I don't really know. But I'm also taking the putty, I think it's the putty brush, <laughs> putty blush brush which has like sort of a spatula on one end and this buffing brush on the other which is very handy for the putty blush. I'm sorry I'm stumbling all over my words. And then I'm going into my powder blush which I'm taking MAC Pinch Me. That's my favorite blush. Well my favorite blush right now. And I'm just adding this all over my face. I'm basically trying to connect the blush to the eye look because I wanted this very exaggerated look. Then I'm going into the Suva Beauty UV Taffy's palette and I'm taking the blue, which I believe is called Mini Monster. Of course, activating that with water and it's ready to go. Very convenient. I'm um, using a liner brush from the craft store. I do prefer the Suva ones, but I could not find mine. So this is the one I'm using. Um, I am drawing a floating graphic liner kind of thing. So I'm not connecting it to the lash line. I am kind of just drawing a V and then I'm going to drag this into the crease. Then I'm going to highlight, I'm sorry I jumped around a lot in this video, I'm going into the ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and I'm taking the shade Glow Getter to highlight. This palette is my favorite, that's why I continue to use it even though I don't even know if this is available but it's amazing if you can get your hands on it. I always like to go back over my cheeks so that my highlight isn't just like a stripe sitting there. 
Um, I did my brows and some freckles. Popped on these lashes. These are the House of Lashes Natalia lashes. And this is the finished look. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.